What's up, guys? You see the razor behind me. And then you see another razor behind me. <laughs> Matt picked one up too. And we're gonna do some bumpers today. Matt's got front and rear bumpers, Polaris with the red, and I got I got the Polaris bumper black. Just for the front. So there's Matt's machine right here. All brand spanky new. Came with the half windshield, the roof, wireless remote, 4,500 pound winch. So we're gonna do that. And he has Kemimoto lower doors. So we got to see in another video the UTV King doors, which are just pieces of sheet metal basically. And the Kemimotos are more like the Polaris style. So we'll see what those are all about. Stay tuned. <laughs> all right, so both bumpers are Polaris bumpers from Polaris, unopened boxes. And we got two different sets of hardware for some reason with the same same bumper same style everything same he got one type of hardware to use that doesn't work because he has a winch plate and I got another set of hardware to use that the bolts aren't long enough because there's a winch plate so we had to go get bolts that are a half inch longer at the hardware store so we could get the room that we needed to bolt the bumper on so that's where we're at, and we should go pretty quick now. <laughs> okay, for these Kimimoto doors, you can see how this goes into that groove, and it's got a little nut welded in. You just bolt those on there. This part is just a little bracket, screws onto this frame, and then you got to take this door skin off with these little screws that are around it pops right off and there's a nut on the other side of these where it bolts onto and there was no adjustment needed it just closed nice tight fit so i'm pretty impressed with these kimimoto doors they look good and they fit awesome Here's the side that isn't done. And this is the side that is done. They look really good. So what we do before we even get started on this side, now that we've already done one, is we're gonna take all these bolts off here and here and then I'll take this door skin out because we know we need that out so we can uh, bolt our little bracket onto that all right all right all the bolts are out so I'm gonna take this door panel off simple as that and that's the first step you're gonna want to take um, doing this and that's just so this bracket can fit there all right so here's the door install that's just in position there Let's go. 
get those started. Breaking period with the rubber. It's cold. I'm guessing. Get the skin back on. Snug, right? Should be good. All right. And there we have it on that side. It's that easy to put them on, so that's pretty cool. All right, now we're going to work on uh, those triangle pieces.
All right, so these just go on. So by the way, it's easier to just take the seat out. And that's just these one screw, a little hook clip. Holds it right on there. And there you go. So we'll just do the other side real quick and show you bumpers and everything all done. So here they are, bumpers installed after we had to go to the hardware store and get the right length bolts because the winch plate on both machines, both have different winch plates, both Polaris bumpers, but uh, because of that, the bolts that came with the bumpers don't fit. So here's the comparison with the UTV King sheet metal uh, style door. And the rear bumper Kimi Moto door with the frame. They're pretty nice. I mean, that's the price they should be. I don't know. The Polaris ones are outrageous. There's our side panels installed. So, pretty, pretty impressed with the Kimi Moto. Looking good, man. Like it. The size difference, it was weird when he pulled up with the two seater. I'm so used to mine now. How much smaller, shorter wheelbase it is. It's awesome though. So that's it, the bumper, bumper and lower door install. Let me know what you guys think. Alright man, thanks.